trend said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one loss, no one's around for you. I won't stop. Hello my YouTube fam, it's Kiana and welcome back to Kiana's Creative Closet. So just like the description says in my last, this is another Fashion Nova haul. If you have noticed, I have been doing a ton of shopping here lately on Fashion Nova. Um, more so much than, um, than the previous years. I have really been feeling them. Normally I go to Fashion Nova for all of my jean needs because you know, Fashion Nova is the GOAT when it comes to jeans. They have all different kinds. But here lately, I have really been feeling dresses. So I have been picking up a lot of dresses. I'm trying to pick up things that will transition me from winter to spring. So, yes, girl. I have picked up a few things, and I love everything that I picked up. So if you're interested in this type of haul, stay watching. If you are new here and you love fashion, like I do, please subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos to my OGs. Welcome back, my loves. Thanks for the continued support. So let's hop into it. Okay. So y'all see my rack here. This is all of my things from Fashion Nova. Minus a few things, but this is the first. <laughs> this is the first dress here, y'all. Who am I? Like, who am I? Y'all know that <laughs> normally I don't go for the extra sexy dresses. I don't know if it's a thing because <laughs> my birthday is soon approaching and your girl, you already know your girl is in her 40s. I am approaching 42, so I don't know if I'm going through something and I'm trying to get my sexy back or what. But I have lately been feeling slits. Y'all know I got a lot of items from Shein that had slits. I have been feeling it. So this one, yes. Yes. <laughs> this one is a really high split. But the good news is you can button these up. So let me button a few. So y'all saw how I had all, you know, was revealing a lot. So these buttons are functional. So you can button them as high as you want or as low as you want. Now me personally, I probably will button it to this length. I for sure wouldn't have that much leg out unless, girl, I was trying to spice it up for my man. <laughs> But no, I will probably wear it like this. You can even button it f further down if you wanted to kind of wear this to maybe an office set. And it is kind of body calm. So if I was wearing this to an office set and I will button it down, maybe minus one to two buttons and just throw a blazer on over top. This dress is very, very comfortable. And then before I move on, the buttons go up. Where do they go to? The buttons go all the way up. This is the last button that you can do. Um, undo so I think the top three or two are not functional but the rest are so honey when I say you can button it all the way up to where you almost had your cooch out <laughs> you can do that <laughs> but it's not happening over here <laughs> so this is very very comfortable it's knit y'all know how I feel about knitted items so it's kind of like a medium I mean not knit I'm sorry ripped Y'all know how I feel about items that are ribbed. I just think it gives it a more elevated look to your basic kind of knitwear or sweater dresses. So I love that. It is so comfortable. This dress is very, very stretchy. I size down in this. I think I got this in a 2X. Um, you will have to wear shapewear with this um, just because of the stretch in it. It is um, a, it's like a mid weight. It's not really too thin you know how some things are really thin and too pliable this one is medium weight it's not too thick but being so it's not a really really thick um body con you will need to wear something over it i mean under it some type of shapewear so you won't have you know look kind of um um unkept let's just put it like that unkept underneath so i just have on a um a smoothing type of shapewear you if you want to kind of suck yourself in and really show body, you will need something a little bit more firmer. But I'm not all for the body. I don't mind having a little bit of pouch 
just about every woman nowadays have a little bit of pouch so i'm not worried about that um this is the back of the dress you can't see my panty lines because this is a full panty so i will probably bend it so the material i will probably wear a thong um shapewear i love the collar because this gives it more of a sporty look kind of like casual i can't wait to transition this into the spring i can wear it now with some tan boots i have a pair of jessica simpson tan boots that would look really really nice with this you can wear it with a pair of brown boots um i would probably me personally would dress this like this i like to have a little bit of leg open and a knee high boot just i don't know it's just something about a knee high boot with a dress with a slit but when it gets to springtime and a little bit warmer i will pull out my um um, Gucci press style meals and I'll just wear it like that with my meals just a nice clutch just to dress it down a little bit but I love her I love her size 2x I'm not sure of the prices Fashion Nova had a heck of a sale um after I think it was after Christmas yeah, I got these things after Christmas after Christmas sale after New Year's sale whatever it, it was love this dress okay y'all so sticking to the theme of slits hunty check her out <laughs> check her out this dress is absolutely gorgeous from the color look at the rich navy in this dress from the the quality of the satin this is kind of a thicker satin so it's not that satin that's very thin that's going to kind of stick to you this is thicker and it is so gorgeous the only thing about this i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it i brought this because you know i have been looking for sexy pieces to wear for my valentine's day shoot and i thought this was a play on sexy yet still classy um i'm just a little bit unsure because i don't do a lot of navy blue and i'm not sure how navy blue looks on me and then too you know the slip is perfect for my photo shoot but i'm kind of like where am i going to wear it because I, I thought when I brought it, I don't like buying things just for one purpose. You know what I mean? It makes no sense if you're going to wear it one time and never wear it again. So I felt like I could wear this. I could um, justify buying it because I could wear it to my um, little cousin's wedding. And she's getting married in June. And I said, okay, that'll be nice to wear to the wedding. But I'm kind of like, will I be upstage, upstage of the bridesmaids? <laughs> Well, I'll be upstaging them, hunty. Will I? Tell me, will I? <laughs> you know, I don't want to be the chick that's overly sexy, you know, at someone's wedding. And then they're looking back at the videos and the pictures and like, oh, she did too much. <laughs> so I don't know if it's appropriate. I feel like if I wasn't a plus size woman and I was, um, you know, a smaller girl, it probably would, wouldn't look so sexy. But being as though I have a lot of hips, I have a lot of butt, a lot of thigh, I'm not sure if it's giving too much. But I love this. This um, string lets you, it's, it makes you, it's accessible. So you can scrunch this up a little bit more to get more ruching or to lift it a little bit higher, which I did. Um, it doesn't lift it real high because it's a high slit anyway um when i first i love the adjustable straps you see it has adjustable straps when i first got this dress i thought it was extra big it was like huge at the top so i was like oh no 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 but then when i adjusted the straps it fat it, it, it fitted me perfectly hence even the back you know because at first it was sitting real low and my back rows was hanging out but being as though i adjusted it even though i had to adjust it a lot because you see this is almost right at the base of the dress i had to adjust it a lot in order for it to pull up and fit me perfectly at the top portion of my body the problem is um it's a little bit tighter at the bottom so i get that you know bigger at the top smaller at the um i mean bigger at the bottom smaller at the top i get that sometimes in dresses so to me it is a little too fitting in the hip part my husband loves it um but i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this one okay front and back i got this dress in a size 3x you see you can kind of play with it you know being as though it has the ruching and it has the, the fabric you can kind of pull it up i think it's supposed to kind of drape like that anyway um i do have on shapewear but again in all throughout this video it's only going to be smooth and shapewear if i was to wear this 
outside like to a wedding or something i definitely think you will need firming shapewear something that pulls you in i have firming shapewear in shorts but i don't have them in panty and you definitely need a panty because of the high slits <laughs> i'm feeling myself <laughs> yes i love it though if you can pull it off and you're okay with a little bit extra thigh meat hanging out <laughs> go ahead and give it a go honey because i love this okay so this is the next one and this one is not going to work i'm definitely going to have to send this back if you can see this is pulling all throughout <laughs> the dress and i got this i stayed my size in this this is a 3x i stayed my size because i knew looking at the bigger buttons that it probably was going to be kind of like a stretch um and that is because the material is very very stretchy but I don't know why Fashion Nova put buttons, you know, functional buttons in this dress. I feel like this could have, should have been a straight down just because of the way it's made. Um, you have the slits on the side of this dress. Um, again, this one has a collar too. I love that collar because I feel like it gives it more of a dress down type of look. This, if it would have fit, fit it properly, I could have worn this with a pair of combat boots or you could have dressed it up but let me look at my mirror yeah it's gaping everywhere everywhere so that is not flattering please ladies if it stretches do not wear it it's a dead giveaway that it's too small now if i love the dress a lot if i love the dress i would have been able to probably take it to my seamstress and just have her to tuck down all in between the buttons just like i'm going to do with that she dress that i showed you in a previous haul but this one, um, I don't like it that much to, to, to go through all of that. Um, I would have preferred it not to have the slits on the side. I knew that it had the slits on the side, but I was like, okay, I'm going to get it in my regular size so it can be a little bit looser and just give me a kind of casual look where I can just throw this on when I'm going to run errands um, with just a pair of maybe meals. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. This is the back of the dress. You're going to be able to see the panty line of all the dresses because I have one of panty shape wear. But this is the back of the dress. I wish that it would have worked because I love this color brown. I buy a lot of chocolate browns. I don't have a lot in this color. This is a dead on nude for my skin tone. So I was hoping that it worked. But um, unfortunately, it doesn't. So, y'all. I absolutely love this freaking dress. I love this dress. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it. And I'm going to tell, show you why in a minute. But let's just go over the specs of this dress. This dress, I think I got in a 2X. I think I did size down in this dress. I love the color of this dress. I love yellow. Yellow looks really, really good on my skin tone. So it's making the melanin pop, honey. And then I love, again... I know I told y'all this hole was full of dresses with high slits, but I love this one because this one comes kind of like asymmetric towards the front of the dress. I absolutely love this dress. I love the collar. That's another trend with this hole. I've been picking up a lot of things with collars. I love this collar. I love these buttons are functional. I love that you can button this all the way up or you can button it as low. Um, as you want to give a little bit of cleavage of course I'm going to give a little bit of cleavage <laughs> but um, yes I love it I love the rib this is a very thick rib is it going to focus I don't think it's going to focus because the light is right next to the camera but yes it's thick it's a thick rib it's not too thick when you're going to burn up because I definitely will say this for the spring and summer months early summer early early summer but definitely spring months i would not dress this up i would keep this as a casual look so i would wear this with just a pair of flat sandals or either a pair of mules but i definitely wouldn't dress this up i would wear this more in a sporty look but you can dress it up if you want to feel a little bit more sexy throw you on a pair of heels but i would wear flats love 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 this now i'm about to show you why i'm probably not going to keep this dress wait for it the back y'all the back is all the way out this is a full backless dress and baby 
right now i'm not comfortable with the back rows <laughs> i'm not if i had a smooth back hunty this would be mine i will be wearing this at least once a week when it comes to spring but just because of that purpose i probably i may um send it back now i knew that the back was open but i felt like i probably could wear a bandeau like a thicker bandeau just to um cover all of that but I'm not sure if it's going to work. I tried it on with a bandeau I got in here, but that bandeau is not wide enough to cover all the way at the back. So I'm just, I'm just not sure. And then I think it's a little kind of big because I feel like these sides are supposed to kind of come in just a little bit, but it's not. Now, maybe if I can get my seamstress to do something with bringing it in, on the sides where it kind of hide that back fat, I may be able to keep it. Because you see, my back fat is like towards the sides. Kind of like your bra strap line. So if I could bring this dress um, kind of in on both sides, I wouldn't mind because I would just wear a, um, wear something to cut. Well, yeah, if, it, if I could bring it in a little bit, it wouldn't be a problem. So I'm not sure. Tell me. Um, what I can do, what type of hacks I can do to keep this dress. Because I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I just can't do the back rows. It's unflattering. <laughs> okay. Let's clap it up one time. Let's clap it up one time for this outfit. Let's clap it up for elevated loungewear. This is what I'm talking about when I say elevated loungewear. This set is gorgeous. From the color to the style to the fit to the comfortability this style one out of ten ten baby i love this set the only thing is i'm going to send this back and order it in a smaller size because this is too big this top is too big it's definitely too big for me and i can't even finesse it to even make it be a proper fit but the pants fit pretty good um, I wish that I could keep the pants. It's almost to the point where I want <laughs> to order this again <laughs> just for the top and keep the pants because the pants are a perfect fit. The pants are everything, honey. I love the length of the pants because 9 times out of 10, I will be wearing this with heels. I can lounge around the house with just a pair of fluffy slippers, but if I was to wear it out, I would wear a heel with this like a meal. Um, my clear meals would be really cute with this. Um, I feel like I want to dress this up and put a white button down under this. Maybe something, a white button down with some dramatic puff sleeves. Child, picture it. Picture this with a white um, button down shirt with puffy sleeves and just a pair of meals or a pair of boots. Maybe some black boots. Hunty is giving everything. I love the cut how it has that slit here and it goes down like this in the front it just gives you a little bit more um it camouflages the pouch just a little bit more it camouflage camouflages the fupa honey but i love it i love 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 again this is the back um i keep having to pull it up because of course the top is too big yeah y'all um it's giving bootay licious <laughs> I love this set. I love it. I love it. I really think I'm going to keep the pants because the pants are perfect. I'm just going to order this again. This is in, ooh, see, my bra showing. This is, I think, in a 2X. I'm going to probably go all the way down to a 0X if, if, if they have it, or 1X. This may be a 3X. I think this is a 2X. But either way, it's too big, but I love the fit. 10 out of 10. Okay, so this is the next set, and this is an absolute favorite of mine as well. I love this set. Um, it's kind of giving you, like, leggings and top, but it's not that type of legging that I feel like you can't wear. You have to wear something over your butt. It's a very thick, sturdy material where it's kind of even sucking you in a little bit in the mid-region. Um, I love this type of material. It is. It has some stretch, so I... I would say you could either um, stay your regular size or if you want it a little bit more tighter like I did, I sized down. This is a size 2X. But 
this is so good i love this material it is very thick the only thing i would say with me sizing down i have thicker arms so to me it's a little bit tight on my arms but i'm okay with that because your girl on keto but it's fine um it does have the slit at the bottom hem of the pants I love when the slit is inside of um, the ankle instead of outside. I don't too much like when slits are on the outside of jeans. I have a few and they just don't work for me. So I love the ones that's inside. This, this set is perfect for a pair of black high heel booties. Matter of fact, I'm going to do an all monochromatic look. So look out for one of the lookbooks. I'm going to do my burgundy. I have a pair of burgundy. Um, heel booties stiletto booties that matches this perfectly now just like I said you don't have this is a thicker type of legging so it's more to me like a pant so you don't have to um, wear anything covering your butt but in the outfit I have in mind I have a cardigan that this that's the same color I have a pair of boots and hunty I'm ready for that whole monochromatic look but this is the back of it it kind of dips a little bit in the back but i'm okay you can see my shapewear a little bit but i probably wouldn't wear any shapewear with this you really don't need it i just had it on for the dresses but i love this and then you can break it up so it won't look so much so casual or so kind of like two-piece legging set you can put on a thick belt um that's how the model had it on fashion nova and i plan on doing that as well but i'm going to do monochromatic i have a wide burgundy belt that i'm going to put here to break it up but i love i have plans for this the richness of this burgundy is just so gorgeous i love it's it's like a wine color i love this set i feel snatched see i feel snatched it's not too long it fits me at a perfect length it may be a little longer for my shorties but it's it, you know it's okay put on a pair of heels you'll be fine but love this as well okay so this is my favorite this is my favorite look of this whole haul this is so classy and so chic this is giving rich auntie vibes honey rich auntie vibes from the color to the material just the style of this it's it's you're just exuding exuding classy chic i feel confident in this i feel very very confident you know I, my style is um casual chic so this is right up her alley um I, the pants are very very large so i had to say to size down in this i think this is a 1x actually and y'all know your girl is not a 1x but this has a lot of room so i will tell you if you decide to pick this up to go ahead and size down they are a pair of high-waisted trousers they come all the way up they are long though um i'm not sure if you can see my feet i'm trying to stand back as much as i can um but they are a long pair of pants so they're not really short girl friendly but you can always i think the way that the material is this is kind of like a raw hem so i feel like the way the material is even if you go to the seamstress and have her cut them you're still going to kind of get that ruffle like or um that kind of pleats at the bottom of the pants so i don't think you will ruin them but honey this is everything this is everything i love that it's a button down i love the color i love it's everything <laughs> it's everything and if you don't have to wear it you know open or down like that i mean down like that you can kind of tuck it i'm um, not gonna be able to do it too good on camera but do like the one tuck or half tuck that is really really cute you can even um take it and tie it if you wanted to you know show a little bit more of the pant i would probably just do the one tuck i would definitely wear this with heels but you can wear it with sandals as well or flats i think this would look really nice on a nice spring day with a pair of flats as well as now with a pair of boots or a pair of high heel clothes so mills i love it I love this outfit. This is the back. You can even take a belt and belt this if you want to show a little bit of shape. It's just multiple things that you can do with this. Brown is the it color um, of the season. Uh, it was brown been around for a while, and I think we're going to still have brown next year. So, mm -hmm. yes.
is it everything tell me is it everything in the comment section tell me ladies because i think it's everything <laughs> so this is the next um piece that i got and it's just the pants the shirt is just um something i threw on to try on with these pants but these are a pair of pants um i'm going to keep this and i do love the fit of this but i actually when i was looking i thought this was just a regular pair of kind of regular trousers and that whole kind of cotton material or cotton polyester blend but this is kind of stretch almost like stretch pants type that very thick stretch pants kind of like the burgundy um one that i shown you this one is just um it may be ponty. Well, it's, I don't even think ponty. It's more of very stretchy kind of stretch pants material. Um, I normally don't like that style of pants or trousers, but I think this one works. I like it. I love the fit. The only reason why I'm keeping it is because of the fit. These, honey, it's giving body. It's giving bad tea. The butt is looking really, really plump and juicy <laughs> in these trousers. I like them. I like them. I love the length. Y'all know I love long trousers when they're wide leg. I don't like anything that's going to look hot water when I put on a pair of heels and I have already done the heel test. Um, I love them. I love that they're hot waisted. They're very stretchy and comfortable. So you're going to be comfortable. <laughs> I know everybody right now is looking for comfortability. Um, and then you have a zipper in the back. But these are so stretchy that I didn't even have to unzip the back i just pulled them on i just pulled them on they have this piping down um the center of the pants which is very nice it gives it more of a elevated look so these are the pants these are in a size 3x um I gl i'm glad i did get a 3x i would not have wanted to go down in these because then they probably would have looked cheap and uh, yeah they would have looked cheap so yeah keep your size even though they're stretchy and you can afford to go down a size i just wouldn't especially now for trousers this is something that i would wear to work but being as though it is form fitting and that kind of material um even though it's a stretch pants material it's thick so no one is going to be looking at you like oh you got on stretch pants or tights at work um but being as though it's form fitted i would wear this with a blazer to cover my butt but this is the look i do love that it has pockets so yeah that's a plus i'm gonna keep them i do like them okay so i also picked up these jeans from fashion nova and i think i'm gonna send these back i don't like them now the fit is pretty good i got these in a 3x these come one two or three i got them in a 3x and the fit is pretty good they are a little bit looser in the back like most of my jeans um, not too much worried about that. I spent a ton of money trying to get my jeans altered, um, at the waist. So that's no biggie. I could just take them to my seamstress. The only thing about these, I love the distressing on the jeans, but I don't like the length. I feel like it's giving hot waters. And I know a lot of mom jeans are kind of like ankle length, but this is not ankle length. <laughs> this is not ankle length. So it's kind of giving me hot waters it's giving me hot waters um i could wear them now with a pair of combat boots and it wouldn't be a problem or i can wear them in the summer with a pair of meals and it wouldn't look so bad but i'm not sure another thing is i feel like the jean on this i don't like i like the wash because i'm okay with like a light wash jean or a light to medium wash jean but it's something about this the, it looks like the jean is like vintage um you're not gonna be able to tell on the camera i had to really you know look at the jean if you were in person this look kind of like fake jean <laughs> i don't know if it's a such thing but it looks like it's trying to mimic kind of like your lights to medium wash something that you would get from american eagle or something like that it's just something about this wash in person that's really throwing me off or maybe it's kind of like a vintage I don't know, a vintage wash, because I have seen some vintage jeans or jeans that we used to wear back in the day for people my age that had kind of like a, a different tint to the jean, but um, yeah, I'm going to send these back. They hot waters. I'm looking in my mirror, y'all know that. I don't like them. They hot waters. Now, it does have a cuff, 
and maybe if I pulled the cuff down, it wouldn't be high borders. But I feel like if I pulled the cuff down, it's not going to give me that tapered look at the bottom, which mom jeans are supposed to give you. It's going to be like a wide hem. Um, mm -mm. I'm going to send these ones back. This is a no for me. Okay, so last but not least, this is the last item I have to show you in the last pair of jeans. So I love these jeans. <laughs> now, I love these jeans. These are a pair of high-waisted bootcut jeans. I hope you can see all the way to the bottom. Um, I love bootcut jeans. I'm so glad bootcut jeans came back around and it's now um, back on trend because it was so hard for me when they kind of went off trend. It was so hard for me to get rid of some of the um, bootcut jeans that I had, but I wasn't reaching for them as often. So I think last year or even the year, year before last, I got rid of all of my bootcut jeans and I should have kept them because look, fashion always comes back around. But I picked these up, and I love the distressing on these jeans. I love that they're high-waisted. Bootcut jeans look beautiful on pear-shaped women. If you didn't know that, keep a mental note when you're shopping for jeans. Get you a pair of bootcut jeans if you are pear-shaped. It, it's perfect. It's perfect. You can even look at Google it. They'll tell you also that, you know, um, bootcut looks really good on pear shaped woman um i always um even back year you know a few years ago when they were on trend when everybody was wearing them i always felt the most um beautiful or flattering when i had on my bootcut jeans so happy to get these these are in a light wash the only thing i don't like about these i'm not sure if you can see the bottom of the pant but it has that big um hem at the bottom you know how it has that um, I hope you can see. It has that at the bottom. I don't like when jeans have that big, um, it's not a cuff. Um, what is it? Y'all, I don't know what it is, but y'all see, y'all know what I'm talking about. When it has that big thing at the bottom or big, um, hemline at the bottom, I don't like that. I wish that they would have just been, you know, the regular little skinny half an inch seam line or hemline at the bottom. I don't like when it has that that right there so i'm thinking about cutting them but i think if i cut them they're going to be too short if i wanted to wear them with heels um i, I will still have the the boot cut that kind of wideness at the bottom but i think they'll be too short if i wore them with heels but they'll be perfect if i wear them with flats but i love these these do dip low in the back only because again they are too big at the waist um i feel like i could have sized down in these because I had these on yesterday and they you know as you wear them and as you walk around and have them on for a while these um, tended to you know kind of got a little bit looser they are still a little bit looser now especially around the waist um, and that's because I had them on yesterday but when I first got them I was like oh yes baby it's snatching it's it's snatching her in in here but today is giving me kind of looseness up in here so i probably could have sized down but this is a size 22 i should have sized down to a 20 i don't know why i keep my size 22 and in pants from fashion over i only tend to go to a 22 when i'm doing american eagle jeans because you know those jeans are very stiff i keep forgetting that fashion over might say 100 percent and one percent stretch but their stuff is very stretchy so i don't know what keep possessing me to get 22s and I either have to send the jeans back or I don't wear them. But yes, last time, this is the jean. Okay, my loves, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the pieces that I've shown you today. If you have stayed around this long, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do me that favor. It helps your girl out. So, we'll see you in the next one.